free NHS health check. What does it say? A single integrated check for all aged 40 to 74. Better hand it to the NHS. For a creaky old dinosaur, she tracked me down with ruthless efficiency. I turned 40 at 7.55 this morning. How many a day? Hmm? You know the drill, how many? Oh, 10. 15. Alcohol units? Oh, Susan. Five. Six. Per week. Per day. So, what's the verdict? How long have we known each other? Two, seven, eight years. Official guidance is to discuss CBD risks without being alarmist. Very sensible advice Your indeed. Your blood pressure's high, you drink too much, you smoke a lot, your cholesterol is rising. Every key indicator is trending upwards. Well, I like to be current. <laughs> Put it like this, if it could, this computer would have sirens blaring, a red light flashing and large neon lights screaming, Zoe Hannah, sort yourself out. Well, as long as you're not being alarmist. <coughs> Dr. Anna in yet? No, but Dr. Chow's ready and waiting. Oh, no, 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 it's all right. I'll, uh, I'll wait. You don't get to choose your doctor. I said, I'll wait. As you told. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm late. So it's not me you need to be worried about. Carly wants to see you. Sorry? Molly Drove is waiting for you. She's refusing to be seen by anyone else. <sighs> well, they can't pick and choose. Yeah, that's what I said. Still, if your public needs you, send us straight through to cubicles. Molly! Ah! You're looking great. Oh, yeah, well, I'm clean. Yeah. Couple of months out. Oh, new programme. Um, uh, new block. Ooh! No need to look like that. Hey, I used to be quite the catch back in the day. <laughs> well, in another life. I don't doubt it. Deep breath. I did have another life, you know, once. A proper one. Hmm. Block, kid. That kind of thing. Kid? Yeah, daughter. Didn't they ever tell you that? No, you never did. Was she taken from you? Let's run some tests on you, yeah? Yeah. Rita? Could you arrange an ECG and some bloods and include a D-dimer for Molly here? You OK? I wouldn't be if everybody stopped to ask him. Well, if you weren't so blatantly hungover, maybe people wouldn't be asking. <sighs> Molly, can you just give us a moment? Yeah. Yeah. You with me now. <sighs> I should make you feel a bit better. I used to do this a lot in my wilder days. Yeah. Never had to do it myself. Well, let's hope you don't have to do it again. Just Tess, or if Connie knew. Oh. Listen, I know you didn't get the promotion, and I can guess why. But don't let them get to you. Prove them wrong. And the alcohol won't help, believe me. It's not just the promotion, Zoe. Oh, there you are. Um... Mrs. Beecham's looking for you. OK, I'll be through soon. You OK, Rita? Yep. She will be. And you didn't see this. I didn't see what? I'm sorry about this morning. I had a GP appointment that overran. <laughs> Typical NHS. What's this, a written warning? Oh, worse. A holiday form. Pre-approved, four weeks. Go wherever you want, do... Whatever it is you do for fun. This? This is what I do. So you know what I'm trying to build here. The best ED in the country. And in order to do that, do I that need... Do that you need to get rid of me? ...need you to be at your best, which you clearly haven't been recently, for whatever reason. Look, just think of it as recharging your batteries. My batteries are recharged, thank you very much. I am not the enemy, Zoe. Think about it, OK? in rude health. This is very good news, Molly. Yeah, but I just... I just don't feel right here. Well, that's probably just some musculoskeletal pain behind the chest wall. A bit of ibuprofen and you'll be fine. <sighs> oh, 
tablets here. Tablets are doing nothing for me. Is there anyone we can call to collect you, Molly? Maybe this new bloke? No. I, I can look after myself. OK, well, I'm going to leave you the Rita. Take care. There are worse things than taking a holiday. Oh, good news travels fast. Everyone needs a break. This is not about needing a break. This is about Connie getting her own way. She can rule the department, but she can't... cannot rule you. Thank you. Happy birthday, by the way. Thought I'd forgotten. Tell anyone and you die. Slowly. <laughs> Didn't know it was your birthday. Do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? No, do you make a habit of sneaking out on people? A bit rude. About that, Max, it was nothing personal. Really? Oh, is this the part where you're all, we need to talk because I'm busy? No, this is the part where you avoid a difficult conversation by being unnecessarily hostile. Molly Drover. Uh, yeah, I've seen her. She's fine. I've sent her home. Well, she's back again asking for you. What? Oh, I'll see her shortly. No time like the present. 3006 to control. Receive that. We're on our way. Over. We've requested a trauma doctor. OK, that's with us, yeah? I'll call Mrs Beach. All right. No need. I'm your trauma doctor, Jeff. I'll grab my stuff. What about Molly? Zoe! All right, Jeff. This is cool. Uh, BP's 80 over 60, pulse 110. That's at 96%. It's got some breathing difficulties, which is made worse when we cleared him from the entrapment, so I think we might be looking at the pneumothorax. What's his name? Chris. His name's Chris. I'm his father, Philip Perry. Hi, Chris. I'm Zoe. I'm a doctor. How are you feeling? Hurts. Yeah, I'm sure it does. It's like a car that could rest, all right? Reduce breath sounds to the right. It is a tension pneumothorax. Okay. Needle decompression, then, yeah? Yeah, please. Hey, Chris, we're going to try and help you breathe more easily, OK? We're going to do something called a needle decompression because you've got some air trapped in your pleural space, so this is going to relieve the pressure. OK, Chris, stay with us. Very good. It's in the right place, but it's not decompressing. I'm going to have to go in. OK, he's got no output. He's stopped breathing. He's in PDA. OK, come on, Chris, stay with us. What are you doing? I'm making an incision into his chest to try and release the pressure. OK. Yeah. Come on, Chris. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a vague output now. I'm making respiratory effort as well. Hey. OK, let's get him on the oxygen. We'll put a binder on it before we go to the ED. Nice one. Nice. Oh. It's Perry, he's 42, he's got chest trauma. He had no air entry on the right. He went into PEA arrest and I had to try a needle decompression, which he didn't respond to, so I had to do a thoracostomy on the site. His sats are now improving to 97%. His pulse is 90, his rest is around 26. His BP is 110 over 60, so I'm going to have to do a chest strain, no, OK? That's it. Thank you, Dr. Hannah. We'll take no, 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 you are not pulling me off this case. You? are covered in dirt and need to clean yourself up. Let us do our job. No, unbelievable. Let us do our work. No, oh, believe it. Get on with your job. Where's Chris? Where's my son? He's in recess, Mr Perry. He's in good hands. If you'd like to come with me, I'll take you to where he is. Oh, not now, Dad. You look... terrible. So I've been told. By Her Majesty, no less. Anyway, I'll have you know, I've been working very hard on this look. <laughs> That's better. You've got a nice smile. The blood, sweat and attitude I could live without, but... Max, don't. What? It was never gonna work. What, this conversation? No, us. I don't know, you seem to be working pretty well the other night. You're just... you're just so young and I'm... No, I swear, if you say old, I'm gonna kill myself. OK, older. Wiser. Yeah, of course, because sleeping with someone, sneaking out of their room and then breaking up with them, what truly old and wise do. Hang on. Breaking up? It's not like we were in a relationship. It was kind of a relationship. No, it was fun. It was a laugh. But that's all it was. Oh, and this is funny why? It was fun. Huh? It was a laugh. I know what you think a relationship is, but for someone so old and wise, you're not very good at reading between the laughs. Balls in your cup. 
Mr. Perry, you should really be getting that ankle seen to by a doctor. Look, I'm not going anywhere. Not while Chris is. Is he going to die? No, not at all. It's all my fault. Well, did you drop that scaffolding on him? It's my fault he was there. The business, you know, he hates it. He's never any good at it. I didn't know how to let go. Of him? The business, the job. I didn't know how to walk away. Mr. Perry, your son is stable. We've put in a chest drain, so that should help reinflate the lung, okay? It's gonna be all right. See for yourself. He's weak, but conscious. Okay. Then you have patience to return to. I'm getting there. He's had quite a lot of morphine, so he might still be a bit groggy. Chris, your father's here to see you. Oh. oh Chris. I'm so sorry. Yeah. So am I. For what? For thinking that you could stop being Mr. Working Class Hero for just five minutes. OK, this isn't doing you any good. That's no, enough. No, no. It's OK. It's not OK, Dad. It's not OK, but she's right. That's enough. <coughs> Robin. Could you take Mr. Perry to see Dr. Chow, yeah? Get his ankle seen to you. And while she's at it, tell her I suggest full bloods and a chest x-ray. I won't be needing that. What's going on, Molly? Are you afraid to go home? Is this new bloke? Is he knocking you about? No, uh, no he's not like that. I mean, he's, he's a good man. You know, decent. So why are you faking your symptoms? Are you hoping to get into the pharmacy? Is that it? You know, maybe score some cheap codeine or diazepam, because it's not going to happen. No, I don't do that. Well, not anymore. It's not who I am. I want to believe you. But unless you tell me what's going on, I can't help you. I've been drinking for 29 years. I mean, it's almost two-thirds of my life. Proper drinking, that is. You know, the... The drinking you do when you've decided on a, a life less lived. Eh? You've done the hard part, Molly. You're clean. We're a hospital, not a group therapy session. If you can't deal with your demons outside, then papering over the cracks by hiding in a hospital is not going to help. You've got to deal with it. Dr. Hannah, you might want to see this. Full of Perry's chest X-ray. It looks pretty advanced. Why didn't he say anything? He had other things on his mind. Where is he? Just over here. He was right here. Oh. Right, I'll check Rhesus. I'll check this one. Oh, Rita, will you check Molly Drover's obs one last time? I'm almost certain they'll come back clear. When they do, street her. For good this time. OK. Chris. Have you seen your father? Thought you were treating him. Well, we were, but he's gone. Well, you can't go far on that ankle. It's not his ankle that I'm worried about. It's his condition. What condition? Mesothelioma. Hey, Cancer. Uh, Robin, would you take Mr. Perry back to cubicles, please? Dr. Chow is expecting him. Zoe, presence is required. I've been told to bring you, kicking and screaming if I have to. Lead on. So, what's this about? I'm not quite sure. Well, I could hazard a guess. It's Connie putting me in my place, just like she's done everyone else. Well, I don't think... No, I'll tell you what I think, Martin. She has wanted this from the start. And worst of all, and there's plenty, by the way, worst of all, she has done it with the help of one of my closest friends. She's turned Tess into somebody I don't even recognise anymore. She's cold, she's distant, she's cruel. So and as for the rest of the team, she has turned them into a bunch of cowardly, backstabbing, spineless yes-men. Right, well, on behalf of the cowardly, backstabbing, spineless yes-men, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. 
Happy birthday, Zoe. Oh, Tess. What am I doing? I don't know. You embarrassed yourself, humiliated me. I'm so sorry. Are you? Why does Connie get under your skin so much? You don't have anything to prove. Oh, you do. I have a team to lead, compromises to make, which you walked away from. Management, fine. But when did you stop caring for patients like Molly Drover? When did you become that doctor? Hang on, there's nothing wrong with her. Medically, physically, she is fine. If she was sick, I would treat her, Tess. But she's faking it, she's making it up. She, she thinks she had a kid. She did. Her daughter died in this hospital almost 30 years ago. Any sign? But she's got to be around here somewhere. Remind me why I'm doing this again? Because Molly needs my help. Her daughter died in this hospital 29 years ago today, and she was in the hospital to stop herself from remembering, from drinking. Remind me why I'm doing this again? Because I need you. And you're about the only person who will help me, despite everything. I think. Not really. I tend to do. I think you should take a holiday. Oh, if one more person suggests a holiday. But not on your own, cos that'd be boring. Max, I can't. Th this place needs me. What do you think? I just think maybe you need this place. What's that supposed to mean? There's more to life than work, Zoe. My work is saving lives. What's more important than that? I don't know, having one. Ah, Dr. Anna, want a party? <sighs> no, and neither do you. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Molly, I know now, I didn't know before about your daughter, and I'm sorry. I understand. No. You don't. See, I can still see her. And I close my eyes, you know. I mean, if you think after 29 years, that's not going to make it better. No, see, it makes it worse. <laughs> see, that's the point. <laughs> You've done so well, Molly. You've got hope. Oh. Don't you get it? It's the hope that hurts. <laughs> See, this has been my life for as long as I can remember. I mean, why change it now? Because you've got something to live for. No, no, I had to deal with it. Like she said, this is who I am. I, I can't, I, I can't change it now. What do I know, Molly? I haven't got a life. All I do is... is this. And I've been doing it for so long that I don't know when it stopped being part of my life. Mm -hmm. It became my life. Oh, then. I suppose the question is... Are we scared of life, or... Or of living it? I'm sorry. Hmm? What about? The way I've behaved towards you, towards the staff. Everything. I'm sorry, Zoe, am I missing something? Are you just having a bad day or what? I'm having a great day. I've got something for you. Right, the holiday form, thank you. It's a bit more permanent than that. Mine then? Yeah, I thought people might come over for his uh, <clears throat> Dr. Hannah's birthday drinks thing. Don't you mean leaving drinks? Haven't you heard? Oh, she's quit. She's leaving tonight. Oh, we we'll miss you, Zoe. Oh, thank you. So it's true, you're leaving. It looks like it. Leaving us in the lurch. Tess. That's okay. She's right. 
I just feel like it's the right thing to do, Tess. Good luck, Zoe. Look after Charlie for me. We will. Dear Connie, it'll be perfectly obvious by now that I'm leaving, so I won't bang on about why too much. Suffice to say that a wise woman recently pointed out to me that a life less lived is no life at all. It's the staff I want to talk about. Just a piece of advice. Look after them. Tolerate their little spats. Help them when they're at their most vulnerable. Protect them when they're in danger. Help them when they don't realize they need it. Praise them when they save lives. Enable them to change. Or just make a difference. Because they are the greatest asset any leader could have. And the greatest of friends. I wish you the best of luck. Really, you're gonna need it. Regards, Zoe. P.S. I've left you a little something in your drawer. Keep them under your desk and give your feet a break. Doing a double shift in heels is murder. <laughs> so, running away. Good choice. I'm not running away. I'm running towards something. What? Me? Did you just say that? I know. <laughs> See? What am I going to do now? Oh, you'll live your life. Other people will make you laugh. Who are you? Hmm, this is true. Listen, um... <laughs> I want you to be happy. So do I. That's why I'm doing this. Can you understand that? If I have to. Oh, Thank you. Zoe. I love you, you know. I know. Dad. Yeah, I've had a lovely birthday, thank you. Now I've got some time off. I'm going to come and visit you. Mm, as long as you want me. There you are. We're on. Mm. You playing or not? You're right, mate. You've been quiet all day. Is there anything I can help with? You're right. I'm good. Come on. Let's rock and roll. Don't worry, mate. She'll be back. <laughs> 